Then last uh, session we had completed up to the grid game simulation and interactive multimedia. And today we will be doing program instruction, case study method, and on the job training. All right. So this is a use case of uh, interactive media. On your screen, uh, can you see this? Yes, we can see it. Yes, sir. In fact, they uh, experimented also during one of my trainings as well. <laughs> <laughs> good, very good. Let's try this. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. This is paulm.com slash ajaysau452. So whatever uh, has helped you get through this week, uh, you can write just one or two words, and you can give multiple answers. So if more than one thing has helped you through this week, the crazy week, just mention that. Yeah, it's active. All right. Shopping, online shopping. Usage pollen.com. Uh, good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Uh, I mean, uh, I uh, could not hear this. I mean, what are we doing? Uh, what poll is this about? I'm okay, sorry. this this is about it's a fun uh, poll where uh, during the work from home, many of you would be working from home, some of you would be going to office uh others would be uh, doing uh, other things so uh, since the lockdown people have been uh, like very very stressed out and all of you would be stressed out so so basically uh, we are at the end of the week so what is it that uh, uh, kept you sane oh yes handle your with your stress yes yes very yeah. certainly uh, yes okay understood all right okay uh, can, can we write in the chat, sir, in case we are not able to get with, to the poll, I'll try my level best, but in case I'm not able to, I'll uh, write in the chat. Sure, sure. Yeah. But but uh, going to the poll is fun. Yeah, I, I would try to go to the try, poll. Try, try that, try that. Uh, do we have to do it's it, it uh, uh, over the mobile or can we also do it over the, uh, I mean, laptop or... Yeah, yeah, any, any, any device, any device. Right. Any device. Last time we were doing uh, this interactive multimedia, and at that time you said uh, you asked us to go through mobile uh, phone. Yeah, yeah. So it. either mobile or uh, laptop, iPad, whichever. Sure, sure. Okay, thank you. All right. So uh, people did shopping, talking with friends. Mentors, sisters, marriage, online, shopping online, audits. Friends, books, reading. Work from home, salary. Okay.
Okay. Is there anybody who is not uh, able to uh, get onto the uh, web to answer this? Uh, it's me, sir. sir. Okay. Manisha. Yes, Manisha. What is the problem? I have uh, opened that web page, uh, but it says uh, that waiting for uh, your ID presentation to begin. That is what it is showing. Okay, just you have under. to. I, I I guess you'll have to give your ID. Any 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 uh, email ID. But uh, through login option. No no. no. Uh, you know the probably like you know you must be opening the last page because this time it's four five two. And it might be open yeah, the yeah, yeah. registered uh, questionnaire. Right, right, right. Where the earlier one was different, the yes. uh, URL was different. So you, so this you just check. Yeah, 452. Please ensure that at last it is showing 452. Right. Let me let me do that. Thank you. Thanks, Atan. All right, assignment, online assignment, All right? Books, reading, preparing, shopping. So there has to be only one, uh, only one response or? Uh, no, 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 you can have as many expenses as possible. Right, thank you. Exercising. Very good. <laughs> Participating perspective. Okay. Attitude. Gratitude. Okay, good. Ronda. Yeah. Very good. Runda Brian. You read that book, guys? Runda Brian? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, we are pra actually we are pra practicing all these uh, techniques. Okay, very good. And sir, it really changes uh, our perspective for everything and everyone. Lovely, lovely. Very good. Uh, most of uh, with one or the other thing, sometimes, I mean, be it work or anything. And sure. this one keeps me so, uh, you know, positive and uh, uh, also I get it. I mean, um, I have this very good uh, uh, vibes going on all day long. Mm -hmm. So, yes. yes, basically I can do and then I, it is very easy for me to schedule my work. Lovely, lovely. Very good. Okay. All right. So, so uh, I believe last session I had uh, discussed about how to uh, set this up, right? So the, there's a uh, app called uh, Paul Everywhere that that app actually syncs with uh, PowerPoint, and uh, you have to register on that app, and it actually shows when when you are registered and downloaded. It shows on the on the uh, uh, ribbon, uh, PowerPoint ribbon at the top, Paul everywhere, and you can uh, use uh, that. Uh, have you? Have, anybody has tried Paul everywhere on PPT? No. Sir, I have tried Mentimeter. Oh, you have tried Mentimeter. Okay. Okay. Right. Sir, we usually, uh, Sir Samya here, I usually yeah. uh, used to uh, use Mentimeter during my sessions, but this week I tried uh, poll, uh, poll everywhere. So okay. I think, yeah. All right. So Mentimeter, uh, I've not tried, but I'm told that it only, uh, you can use it for poll and survey. Yes. Uh, this one has several functionalities. Uh, 
let me see uh, uh, if you want to know how it works shall i shall i give you a demo yes sir please okay let me yes, see yeah, yes, let me see if i can so, give you a demo. Sir, I have tried activity in the PPD, but it's not working. I don't know what happened. I'm sorry, come again. Uh, sir, I had to that mean open up with the help of PowerPoint presentation. Uh -huh. It was not working. Okay. That means it's not showing the apps. It's already been uh, released. All right. Let me just show you how it works. All right. So you are able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay. Right. So, so uh, yes, go to any any uh, PowerPoint presentation. Okay, anyone. Say, say this one I'm doing. So, uh, go to Insert button. Okay. Then somewhere. Uh, hang on. All right. So uh, here it is. Paul everywhere. Uh, I had already downloaded it. Okay. So go to Paul everywhere. I uh, press new, new activity. And uh, it shows various activities. You can have uh, uh, multiple choice questions. You can, you can uh, conduct quizzes. This is the one which I had used, Word Cloud, right? the one which uh, we did just now or you can have true or false or uh, competition or you can have uh, ranking open-ended questions right uh, clickable image like suppose i want to know uh, where all unilever has their offices right i i put up this map on my screen and ask people to identify the countries where uh, Unilever has their offices. Uh, then you can have uh, question answers. You can have uh, numeric ratings. Suppose there are more than, say, one uh, facilitator and you want to rate all the facilitators, or there's a panel discussion. You want to rate the panelists, right? So, so uh, you, you can have the numeric ratings, self paced surveys. So, so the, uh, or if uh, the, these are the blank activities. Then there are small discussions. Like if there is a, a very uh, small group, then you can have project feedback, meeting agenda, uh, team idea presentation, uh, retrospect, screen retrospective. And if there are very, very large gatherings, right? So, so uh, you can have panel uh, questions, audience sentiment, right? uh how how you how do you rate today's ratings right and uh what's your age some something like th these are like energizers and uh, uh you can use these as energizers also right so i have and, a question uh, yeah please go ahead so uh, i just wanted to ch you know uh check is this whole f uh, full fledged thing is it available for free or do we have to pay it's free it's free it's free okay it's thank free. you okay uh, and this is a uh, work from home icebreakers, like uh, build connections with the team. This is the word one, word game. Uh, check in with your team, how remote work are. So, so people will actually answer uh, how it's getting, keeping them sane. So, sorry, this is the one I had used. Uh, it is a ready-made kind of stuff. All right. And you can, uh, let, let, let's do one, right? Say, say, let's see, uh, how do you feel today? Okay, so what I'm doing is I am inserting this, right? It's loading now, okay? How do you feel today? Let's do that, uh, edit, okay? So uh, you, you, can, you can have a picture also, you can upload a picture, right? Uh, uh, against each so, uh, choice also, you can upload uh, small pictures, right? Then you can add options. Instead of four, you can have add another option. You can reorder the options, allow changing answers, 
right? So you can uh, toggle it on and off. So people, once they answered it, uh, if it is on, they can they can change their answer. They can uh, delete one answer and give one another. If I say off means once uh, they have uh, given their choice, mark their choice, they cannot change it. Okay. Limit responses per person. Like I, I, I would limit it to just one. So response per person is one. Or I can increase it to two, three, right? So that also we can do. Uh, then anonymous participation of. So that uh, uh, only the uh, if you give your email ID or any ID, uh, then only you can participate and restrict participants of. So anybody can anybody can answer like anybody who uh, types in the URL can answer. And uh, I have put this on so that you can answer from the web. Uh, in the US, you could actually answer by uh, sending an SMS also, so text messages. So in India, it's not possible. So I'm saving it. All right. So uh, after saving it, let me insert this slide. Okay, so this slide appears here. All right. So now when I uh, go to my PowerPoint presentation, yeah, it appears here. All right. So so. Uh, Now, uh, this is active, yeah. You guys have started doing it, all right? Go ahead, I love you. All right. So try different options. Not that I have, you are feeling devilish, but you can try different options just to show how it works. So we will have to type in the link uh, or the uh, at the top. No, no, no. It appears. It appears automatically. Sir, actually, I'm logged in through mobile. So how will where will I see this? Uh, see what? How how will I respond to this if I'm on uh, mobile? Okay, uh, okay. So so go to your browser, any browser. Okay. Google, Google or uh, whatever. So so go to your browser. Type in this olive.com slash ajaysau452. And since this, this slide is active, you will see the options. These very options will be there on your screen. Okay, sir. Right? You got it? Got it, got it, got it. Okay, okay. good. So, Samya here. Yes, yeah, Samya. Uh while the the answers are on i thought i can utilize this time with uh, you know i just wanted to ask yeah. any other recommendations also you have wherein you have tried other uh, applications or something because i have been experimenting a couple of them uh -huh. so i was really interested and keen to know if if something else uh, you would have uh, used and probably could suggest uh no uh, barring paul everywhere i have not used any uh, although add-ins I've used, like the uh, the uh, countdown timers uh, I've used. Uh, yes, sir. I also, or, you know, last you, week you had kind of shown I, I how show. do you do it. Right, right. Yes. So, so then so, I have started using it for breaks and uh, activities. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, very yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Yes, it's and fun. And then the participants are even more excited. Yeah, yeah. And instead of looking at a blank screen, they have something to see, actually. Yes, yes. Right? Yeah, and uh, I also use uh, normal videos uh, while while uh, people log in. Yeah, and uh, uh, the, while the timer is on, uh, you, people can also watch that video. Uh, right. I don't know whether I had shown you or not. Okay, all right, guys. Shall we move on? Let's move on.
So you can you can you can lock also so that you uh, nobody else can answer anymore. Once once the time is up, you can lock it, and you can also clear the responses. All the responses are gone, so that it's it's a clean slate, right? So you can start the uh, if you want to start uh, the voting again, it can happen, all right? Okay, so moving on. All right. So uh, last time we did the business game and uh, uh, simulation, and also uh, we touched upon the interactive multimedia as to how, uh, and uh, we did it today also, right? So, so these are instances of uh, interactive multimedia. All right. So, so uh, any uh, uh, because last time we uh, we were out of time, so uh, we could not debrief the business game we played. Uh, so, uh, anybody would like to comment on the takeaways from the game we played uh, last last uh, Saturday? What are the takeaways? So it is a, a kind of uh, that mean interesting and funny uh, method to basically that mean help for the teamwork as well to build a teamwork or the sense of yeah and uh, very easy uh, that mean we can percolate very easily last time we played the game and uh, that mean four of us one is not that mean following the things and uh, that we mm -hmm. did so basically very simple the message yeah, yeah. And it's very powerful very powerful because you are actually uh, your inner stuff comes out actually your inner attitude your uh, what, what is it that uh, you uh, from that game uh, what what do you think uh, came out from all the four players Sir? what kind of attitudes came out from the uh, players last last uh, saturday whoever attended the class in the last game or overall are you asking last last game which we played last saturday right so what can you infer from that game so one of the company uh, didn't align as per the organizational uh, goal right it was all self centric so one of the player tried to outsmart the rest three yeah, yeah. that was one of the thing right so although uh, uh, all the four companies were from the same group, one company uh, wanted to uh, outscore the others. And although and uh, there was negotiation. And after negotiation, also uh, one of the companies, uh, they, uh, uh, they, they actually uh, chose something which was not decided in that negotiation, right? So kind of uh, integrity and team spirit issues. I'm sorry. I mean, kind of, kind of uh, integrity and team spirit uh, issues. And in the end, uh, I would say integrity. Uh, yeah, team, team, yes. Team and uh, in the end, like there was a win lose situation. So one, there was a win. Yes. So that was not actually everybody was not at winning side. So though we decided that, mm. but. One was at winning side, the rest of the three were at losing side. Right, right. In fact, in fact, we play this game with real money. Uh, in my other sessions, we play this game uh, with re real money. And instead of just four people play, uh, because of the constraint of online uh, gaming, uh, we, we uh, could not involve others. Uh, had this been like, uh, Zoom has this facility of uh, uh, breakaway rooms, uh, which is not there uh, with the Zoom which we are using. So, if there is a breakaway room uh, facility, uh, you can divide the entire. Suppose there are twenty people here. Uh, uh, okay, right now it's thirty-four. That's good. So, so uh, you can divide uh, this team into uh, this class into say four of uh, eight each. So, so uh, they can actually discuss among themselves in the breakaway room on Zoom's uh, platform, and uh, they uh, they will choose one of these, either T or H, right? So, so uh, that's much more fun, and every and uh, uh, actual money is involved in the sense maybe 
uh, instead of uh, say losing one lakh uh, number in numbers, you can you can actually say you lose one one hundred rupees and uh, win uh, one hundred rupees. So that way, and and uh, it actually can be done online by uh, through Paytm. Like as soon as one team loses, uh, they actually uh, transfer hundred rupees uh, on on Paytm to the other team, right? And uh, uh, the facilitator is also involved in this, in the sense uh, if everyone chooses T, right? So everyone gets hundred rupees, or uh, so so uh, the facilitator from his side he he transfers. Uh, 100 rupees each to the four teams right so and if if uh, 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 everybody loses say uh, 100 everybody chooses h then uh, they the uh, facilitator gains 400 rupees so so it's it's a it's a it's a uh, lot of fun if you play with and uh, it puts the uh, teams under tremendous stress if they are actually losing money they it puts them under stress so uh, if you are not able to appreciate the uh, the choice which was given by one of the teams because he was losing uh, in the first round he lost say 300 uh, three, 3 lakh so so he wanted to make up for the loss the loss which he has incurred so so in the uh, fourth round which was after the negotiation he went along with the team but in the fifth round he wanted to recoup the losses, and that's why he uh, he uh, opted for a different uh, choice. Uh, so, so, uh, and if the money is involved, uh, that that's uh, much more. Uh, I mean, you, you can actually understand where they are coming from, right? So, so uh, yeah, it's, it's it's a fantastic game, uh, but you have to be very careful when uh, you, you have to have some expertise while uh, using this game. Otherwise, it will fall flat. All right. So, so maybe you can try this game sometime. And uh, uh, normally, two people actually uh, are facilitating this game uh, because I was doing it uh, like keeping score, keeping. Uh, uh, Giving away, I mean, uh, trying to find out who uh, voted for what. Uh, so, so, so it, it's a little uh, cumbersome if only one person is doing it. If two people are doing it, uh, it's it's easier. All right. So, so that's what we did uh, last week. Okay, moving on. All right. Okay, this is what we have done. All right, so let's move on to programmed instruction. So, so uh, anybody who has done a MOOC, uh, massive online uh, open course uh, online uh, during the lockdown, I'm, I'm sure you must have tried. Anybody who has done it? And which course did you do? Uh, sir, like I said, that one can be uh, known as program instruction or what? I mean, the, it is about the whole 30 day workshop. The one I just mentioned about in the which, law. Which one? Which one? Uh, Sorry. In magic. In? I mean, uh, the workshop is based, uh, I mean, that is a programmed instruction kind of. We have to do certain activities as well. It is yeah. uh, from a book and um, uh, we are directed. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, there is a trainer, so does it count or not? There is a coach. No, maybe. no, programmed instruction basically uh, are online, not not on a uh, like classroom. Right? Okay. okay, so so uh, it, it's, it's online. So there would be, say, uh, these are called MOOCs. Okay. So online courses count under them, right? Yeah, yeah, online yes, courses. We have done that. Right. So these are called MOOCs. Uh, anybody who knows what is a MOOC? Uh, so it's massive open online courses. Right. Uh, these are open. online online courses these are courses that are specifically designed for really a large number of students sometimes it can go up to even 2000 3000 exactly and so coursera so, edx very good coursera edx even khan academy has 
uh, so even other uh, uh, universities have started. Uh, uh, IBM has, SAP has. So, so they they have uh, the the companies also run MOOCs. So right. So so MOOCs are uh, normally they 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 are program instruction, right? So so there would be various modules. So there will be a module one, module two, module three, four, five, right? So the way it works is uh, unless you have completed module one and at the end of the module one you have a, a, a quiz kind of thing so so you have to finish the quiz and there is a passing mark maybe 80 percent or 90 percent uh, marks so unless you have scored say whatever the passing mark for module one you cannot move to module two right so only and uh, you cannot start from module five you cannot uh, you have to necessarily start from module one and then move uh, up the ladder so so you have to uh, do the you have to uh, there, there are videos there are there are uh, ready material uh, so so once you have read the uh, videos uh, sorry uh, watch the videos and uh, read the ready material uh, then there is uh, uh, the, there is a question uh, uh, the, the quizzes quiz will be there and uh, you uh, will uh, take that quiz and uh, if you score 80 percent uh, or or whatever 50 percent 60 percent whatever is the the program then you move to module two similarly you can move to module three then four then five then you get your certificate right and most of the certificates are free uh, unless you want uh, 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 i mean uh, the, the certificates are not free the courses most of them are free uh, you can uh, ask for a certificate if you want to ask for a certificate you want uh, then uh, you have to pay a certain amount. So the money is not uh, much. Uh, most of the courses, money is not much for the certificate. Like I did a course on uh, artificial intelligence for everyone uh, some time back, and I got the certificate for I think 1600 rupees or something. So 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 it's not much. Uh, but if you just want to uh, gain knowledge then most of it is free uh, you can do it on uh, what is called a, uh, there is a particular board there are a lot of platforms actually yeah yeah uh, a lot of platforms means i mean uh, there are a lot i mean uh, you can do it on uh, a number of uh, different uh, websites are offering a number of different universities are offering yeah 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 right so and so uh, most of them as you said are free yeah, but most of them are free. If you want a certificate, then you have to uh, pay a certain uh, fee. It happens with even uh, the Harvard, I mean, uh, university, I mean, Harvard, uh, the IBM, Microsoft, all of them are running such courses. Um, most of the universities in US and UK are running such courses. Yeah. So, so, uh, uh, but if you uh, if you are not getting the certificate, you cannot display it on your LinkedIn profile or any anywhere else. So, so to uh, to display it on your, uh, it, it gets actually added to your uh, LinkedIn profile if you have paid that uh, small amount. Uh, else, you you can uh, actually do it and gain knowledge, but uh, you cannot uh, show it. All right. So, so uh, what is basically uh, programmed instruction? It's just a process or technique of teaching uh, in a sequence of control steps, like we had. Uh, mentioned in the previous slide, uh, you have various modules and uh, control steps because uh, uh, if you are doing uh, module one, uh, then uh, all of the modules are actually blocked to you. Right, so, so uh, that's why uh, we are saying it's uh, control steps. Uh, and you can do things at your own speed. Right. So, so, uh, but, but there are there are sites where you uh, uh, basically can uh, cannot take your sweet time. Uh, 
uh, there, there would be some uh, time which is uh, fixed in the sense you have to complete the module one in one month time. Uh, so th there, there are people who complete uh, all the five modules in say 10 days time, uh, provided you can devote time to it. But uh, you, you have, uh, so for each module, they, they would fix a time and uh, you, can, you can renew it. Like, you, uh, like you, if you are not able to complete it in a month's time, then you can start doing it again and uh, your uh, time gets uh, extended. Correct. Uh, so, so what are the various uh, the the characteristics of a program instruction? It's it's uh, most of the program instructions, almost ninety nine percent of them are individual. Like it's it's one to one. Like uh, it's not a group learning session. It's an individual learning session, and uh, it's done in small steps. Uh, uh, in fact, each module would also be subdivided into smaller chunks of uh, a learning material so so uh, it, it it happens in small steps it's a series of sequential steps uh, you cannot uh, jump to module five without uh, doing module one so it's it's it, it goes in a sequence and each uh, each step in the sequence is related like m1 is related to m2 m2 is related to m3 so if you have not completed M1 or you, you have not done it uh, properly, uh, then when you go to M2, possibly you may not be able to uh, uh, understand what's, what's happening. All right, so, so, uh, so that way you, uh, you need to complete uh, each of the previous modules well to, to later ones. And it requires active response on the on the part of the uh, learner. Uh, after each module, at the end of each module, uh, there is there is a quiz, and the learner has to uh, actively participate in the. You can't skip it. Uh, mm -hmm. If you skip it, then you can't go, move on to the other uh, step. So so there has to be active response on the part of the learner. And uh, the uh, program uh, is uh, it, it, it's programmed in such a way that uh, you get immediate feedback. Like if you are making a wrong answer, uh, you uh, uh, at the end of the quiz, you'll be prompted uh, uh, as to what the right answer is. And uh, you would be advised to go back to the, the reading material or the, or the videos and uh, read up or watch the video again. Uh, and uh, uh, and when, when you actually come to the end of that module and you get the quiz again, uh, you'd find that the questions have changed because you have already uh, been told about the answers. So the questions may have changed uh, when, when you uh, take it the second time. Uh, so uh, that's how it works. Uh, then the uh, program instruction actually operates on a principle of self-pacing. Like you, uh, you, you. It, it's up to the learner how fast he or she wants to go. And uh, uh, the, these uh, PI material are, are uh, valid and reliable uh, because they are all pre-tested and uh, the the. Uh, error rate uh, is very low as far as the PIs are concerned because they are well researched and uh, uh, the the program instructions are taken by learners all over the world. So so uh, the glitches which might be there in the uh, in the material it gets ironed out over over a period. So so they are pre-tested and valid. And the error rates are uh, very, very less. Uh, and it works on the principle of stimulus, response, and reinforcement. Uh, you, uh, the stimulus comes in the form of the, the, uh, the video as well as reading material. And response comes from the learner when he or she takes the quiz. And reinforcement. Uh, is given by uh, telling the learner how much, uh, how many uh, answers which he has given are correct, and uh, what are the correct answers, 
uh, and uh, if if there are uh, uh, the the learner has not reached the uh, percentage which is required for moving on to the next module, then uh, she is advised to go back to the uh, to to the material and uh, redo it again. So it works on the principle of stimulus response and uh, reinforcement. Okay. Uh, yeah. So so. Uh, this is basically uh, for your information. Uh, don't try it uh, because uh, creating a programmed instruction would be very, very difficult uh, uh, for a uh, normal trainer like you and me. Uh, I'm not saying that it can't be done, but uh, why, why, uh, uh, why uh, keep a cow when uh, milk is available in the market? Right. So, so uh, better to buy the milk from the market than uh, keep a cow uh, at home. Uh, so, but but you should know how it works. Uh, how how our programmed uh, instruction material is developed. So there are three phases in development of the programmed uh, instruction: uh, preparatory stage, phase, uh, development stage, then testing and evaluation stage. In the preparatory stage, what say, say for example, this would be uh, done by say Coursera or uh, uh, Educom and those 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 people, uh, IBM and various universities. They have uh, 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 they would be hiring say maybe hundreds of uh, people to do this, uh, which a small uh, training department in an organization can't do. Right, so, so the preparatory stage uh, would involve selection of the topic or the unit to be programmed. So, so you have to identify on which topic you want to uh, develop this uh, program instruction. Uh, then writing information uh, is related to the previous knowledge of the students. What kind of uh, uh, people you are trying to attract uh, for this particular program? So, so you uh, take into account their previous knowledge while you are preparing the material for them. So it should not be too difficult or too uh, easy. Uh, if it is too easy, people will get bored. And if it is too difficult, people will, uh, after the first module, they, they move out. So, so uh, it should be just right uh, for the audience you are targeting. Writing the objectives in behavioral terms. After the, uh, the uh, program uh, after somebody has gone through the program instruction what is it that uh, the person will be taking away say for example if i am i have done a, a, a course on ai for everyone uh, so so i'm not going to be an ai expert after uh, doing that program and this program is meant for everyone uh, you don't have to be a coder or a engineer to do this program you 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 can uh, anybody can actually do the program it's it's a very very basic so uh, after doing this i can actually understand how ai works how a self driving car works how a, a, a smart speaker works and what actually goes into uh, the development of a smart speaker or a self driving car mm. so 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 uh, that understanding is there with me but I can't, I can't actually uh, develop a product myself uh, after doing that course. For that, I have to do uh, further, further studies and further uh, skill I have to get. So, so writing objectives in behavioral terms. Fourth is development of specific outlines of the content. Like, like what is it that you want to impart to the to the learner? Like, uh, so and divide those. Uh, uh, that contained into uh, bite-sized uh, modules, uh, and uh, those modules have to be sequential. Like unless you know what is there in module one, it will be difficult for you to understand what is there in module two. Similar for module three, four, and five. Okay, so so uh, uh, those have to be done. And uh, fifth is construction of a criterion test. Criterion test would be the at the end of the each module. There would be a test, and what uh, what uh, items you would include in that test, and uh, sometimes uh, there would be uh, uh, at the end of all the modules there would be a, a, a generic test for which in, uh, includes items from all the 
uh, four or five modules which you have done. So, so, so that, that's the preparatory stage. Second is the development stage, which is designing the frames. Like what is what is it that you will the learner would, would see on the on the on the screen when when she is doing it, right? So so the, the, the frames and what all buttons will be there and uh, uh, what all material would go into it, the videos, the the reading material, and sometimes uh, the uh, uh, the course developer also has. Uh, uh, they, they encourage the students, uh, the learners to uh, interact with themselves. So there'd be a chat box and people would be uh, putting their, uh, their use cases and how they, uh, uh, what have they learned and uh, the, the, any questions they want to ask. So all those things will go into that. Then uh, designing frames, sequencing the frames. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, there are actually forums for all the uh, you know participants or uh, people who are uh, under, uh, undertaking that course, so yeah. that they can uh, discuss. Or, exactly. Uh, yes. Exactly. Yeah. There are forums. There are forums. So 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 uh, you can join that forum and discuss stuff, and it's fun because uh, in that forum uh, there would be people from various walks of life. There would be people from various countries, and it's all real time, right? So, so, uh, uh, and you can you can actually uh, compare notes. You can you can uh, answer to anybody's queries. And if you have experience uh, about particular problem which you have solved, you can you can uh, always uh, uh, help out uh, other people who have taken the course. So there's a four. Yes, there. there. Okay, so uh, and finally, uh, during the development stage, you you write the initial drafts as to how the the modules will proceed. Uh, then the uh, testing and evaluation stage. Uh, before putting it out onto the public at large, uh, I mean this is the same thing which we do uh, as trainers. Like when we develop a design and develop a training program we we try it out before actually uh, putting it out uh, in, in in the public so uh, the individual tryout uh, one to one uh, maybe uh, in in uh, somebody who is similar to the audience which we are targeting so so uh, ask him or her to take this uh, particular program instruction and uh, take their feedback uh, and uh, uh, Depending on the feedback, feedback you can uh, modify or change your uh, stuff. Uh, then uh, you can you can do it in small uh, group tryouts after the individual tryout. Then a field tryout uh, out in the open. Uh, then you can uh, give it out in the public, right? So uh, this is how it's done. Then uh, evaluation is on the basis of data obtained at each level, at, at the individual tryout level, like the uh, small tryout level, field tryout level. And also when you have, uh, uh, once it's there in the open, it's not that uh, you do not tweak the uh, program if, if uh, you get uh, some feedback. So, so you, you, uh, this product actually evolves, uh, just like uh, Google Lens. Right. Uh, you people have used Google Lens? Anybody? No? For scanning the documents, yes, sir. <laughs> okay, okay. It has a lot of use, a lot of use. I mean, you can just, uh, you are going to the uh, uh, to a park and you do not know the name of the flower. I just point it uh, to that flower and uh, a blue uh, dot appears. You click on that dot and it will tell you what the name of the flower is. Right. Uh, similarly, if you have a picture on your uh, mobile and you do not know who the person is, just uh, click on that and it will tell you who the person is. Right. So it's that powerful. So, so use that. It's fun. So uh, Google Lens, although it's uh, tested and uh, everything has been done, uh, still what they do is uh, at, uh, after every result that they give, they will ask a question: Did did we did 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 it work for you? Right. So so uh, if it did, then the uh, since it it works on the artificial intelligence concept, it learns. 
right? So it gets embedded that yes, this is this is the answer, right? So the next time uh, uh, Google uh, Lens answers something similar, it's much more confident, right? So so uh, that that that's how it is. So so uh, what happens in the evaluation stage? Uh, the the they, they look at the error rate, uh, which which uh, the users are uh, pointing out and uh, program density and sequence progression like like uh, if uh, uh, somebody who has completed uh, the semodule one finds it difficult in module two then uh, so possibly uh, one has to look at module one properly uh, and uh, the, the sequence properly uh, then the program density uh, how much uh, is bite sized right so so uh, if it is too much material, then maybe you you may want to uh, split the module into two modules, right? So so that uh, uh, the uh, learning takes place better. So so uh, during the evaluation stage, these are the things which. Okay, let's look at a use case Coursera, uh, which actually uh, I had done, and uh, let me just see if I could. Uh, bring it up all right so uh, are you able to see my screen yes yes sir okay so let me just pull yes. out the okay Right, so this is a program which I had done. So they they uh, it ran into uh, they did the modules were uh, meant for uh, four weeks. You you could actually complete it uh, in four weeks. So the week one, I hope you are able to see my screen. Yes, visible. Okay, all right. Okay, so so uh, this was the week one. Uh, material. Uh, there was an introductory video, then uh, introduction week one. Uh, th this is actually the transcript which I had just downloaded. Okay, so these were actually videos. Okay, so week one had uh, one introduction, then there was machine learning, uh, then uh, we had uh, what is data, so, so there was a video on data. We are able to see, uh, you know, the word document. We can only see the uh, the browser Windows Explorer, basically. Uh, you are not able to see the word document. Yes, I you are. You no, yeah, no we are not able to see. So on your screen... the list of documents, we just see the list of documents. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So, so uh, let me just uh, show you the yeah. Now it's visible. now now you are now you are able to see right good, good, good. now we're able to see I'm sorry okay so so uh, week one was introduction uh, this is basically a transcript of the video which I they had shown and which I had gone through uh, machine learning then uh, you had uh, what is data right. Uh, then terminology, terminologies of AI, what all terminologies is uh, used in AI. Then you had uh, what makes an AI company. Uh, then there was a, a portion on what machine learning can and cannot do. So the limitations of machine learning. More examples of what machine learning can and cannot do. Uh, there was non-technical explanation of deep learning. So, so uh, this was optional. Uh, you could do it or you can skip it. Non-technical explanation of deep learning. There were two uh, additional videos. So, so, uh, so this was uh, one uh, the week one. So there were similarly there were uh, four. Uh, four weeks and uh, after that 
I could have uh, stopped there or I go for a uh, certificate and I went for a certificate. All right. So, so, so this was the certificate I got from uh, Coursera. Right. Uh, you able to see the certificate? Yes. All right. Okay. So, so this is how it works actually, right? Sir? Yeah, go ahead. I can share a screen uh, to show how it looks like because uh, I was like in the morning I was uh, undergoing one course. I'm undergoing one course and uh -huh. that's similar. Um, that is a, uh, that's also under this program in instruction. It is by Microsoft. Okay, okay. You yeah, want to so show? You want to show your screen? I can show it to you. I mean, how it is actually. Okay, okay. Uh, go ahead. Are you able to? I don't know whether they would allow you. Uh, are you able to share? Yeah, are you able to share? No, Go but ahead. it is disabled. Uh, I mean, host has disabled uh, participants. Uh, huh, so I'm not the host. Uh, I think uh, they have to uh, enable you. Uh, we alternatively, you can put it in chat box. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we can double from there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, sir, I cannot put it in because I can just show it by sharing the screen how it actually looks like. Achha, achha. You can put a screenshot. Uh, that that function is disabled for Microsoft because they would not allow you to take screenshots. Either you cannot even download the material. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they have thought through it a long time back. This is a code designed <laughs> in um, any, I mean, somewhere between 2009 to 2012. All right. Okay. So, so uh, I, I won't be able to help you on that because I am not the host. Uh, only Apar uh, have the right to uh, give you the share, screen share thing. Uh, we'll see. Uh, maybe uh, next week uh, we will request uh, Apar because that will be our last class. Uh, and you can show it there. Okay? okay. Right? Okay. All right. Okay. So that was the use case. Uh, so uh, let, uh, instead of uh, you people must have used the case study method uh, at some point uh, in your so, so uh, instead of telling you what case study method is, uh, or are we, uh, are we, we still have half an hour, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Right. So, so instead of telling you what uh, case study method is, let us actually do a case study. What do you say? Yeah. You people again? All right. Okay. So very short case. Uh, it only has two, uh, two slides. Okay. So uh, go ahead and uh, can somebody read out the uh, case from the screen and uh, yeah. Can I read? Yeah, please go ahead. Okay. Maxine, a training specialist with a major corporation for seven years, could not believe her eyes as she read the letter that the human resources representative had just handed to her. The training specialist position has been eliminated as part of a necessary reduction in force to align company resources with business needs. Your last day of employment is today. Maxine liked her job in the training department. She really felt that she had helped her business by creating good training programs and was particularly surprised to receive the notice because she had never said no to any training requests sent her way. She thought she was a great team player. How did Maxine get blindsided this way? About six months prior, Maxine was called to a meeting with Bernie, the sales manager. Bernie said that sales were down, so some product knowledge training should be conducted the following month in an off-site one-day training event. Okay. Uh... Yeah, next. next Maxine page. took the page. She accepted the assignment and returned to her office to be begin designing some product training, pulling from existing resources and developing others. After all, her job description was to deliver the training to support company goals. The problem was that Maxine had no idea what was causing sales to drop, and she had no idea if lack of product knowledge was part of the cause. She designed and delivered a wonderful and effective training program, and she reported these findings promptly to Bernie a few days after the event. Unknown to Maxine, sales did not increase after training. They actually continued to drop. 
Bernie knew there were probably multiple causes, but he ultimately viewed the training as part of the problem. Unfortunately, as it turned out, the sales decrease was actually not due to a lack of sales representative product knowledge. So the training was a waste of resources. Okay. So, so this is this is the case, right? Very short case. And uh, on your screen, there are two questions, right? So this is for discussion. Is Maxine to blame for fall in sales? That's the first question. Second is how Maxine could have shown efficacy of uh, uh, of the sales training, right? Uh, how she could have shown this is basically what training evaluation, right? So, so uh, you need to uh, discuss this. So I want uh, you guys, uh, I want four volunteers basically. So uh, to, to discuss this uh, case and uh, rest of them will uh, be contributing by asking questions or uh, uh, joining the discussion, right? So, so uh, can we have uh, just write down these two uh, questions on, a, on your notebook because I'm going to uh, unshare it. And I'll uh, oh, we'll all be on screen. Sorry I'm sorry, come again. I'm sorry to interrupt. Just a request. Can we move on to the previous slide, the last slide of the case okay. study? Okay, okay. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, this is the first slide of the uh, uh, case, right? Uh, sir, could you just keep it for a minute for us to ponder about? Yeah, yeah, please, please. Yeah, thank you. Go ahead. This is the first first page of the case. Sir, the second page. Just a moment, sir. Okay, sir. All right. Moving on to the uh, second page. Please let me know when you are done. Okay. All right. These are the questions for discussion. Just write down these questions for discussion on a, on a notebook so that I will uh, unshare this screen and everybody would be would come on screen. All the participants will come on screen.
from the Shrimad Dhaab 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 Shrimad Dhaab
Yes. So she could have taken the follow up with the sales team with the uh, close can uh, no? No, no, this is for Priyanka Sharma. Acha, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yes, so Priyanka. The, uh, the tra every training we set objectives and learning goals. Right. So she could have tested the salespeople for for that. She could have evaluated their knowledge through tests or surveys, okay. and when and she could have proven that what the task, the objective of the training was met because the the people are uh, already have sufficient product knowledge, mm -hmm. and so it would be information for the management that the problem it does not lie in pr uh, product knowledge but somewhere else. Okay. It could be misalignment of strategy or anything else. All right, good. So while while uh, six people are uh, discussing on screen, other people are. Uh, I would uh, strongly suggest that they put their thoughts on the chat box, right? So that everybody gets involved. All right. Now it's uh, for Sonal, uh, Mr. Panda, and uh, who else? Uh, okay. Uh, any any questions you have from both the Priyankas and Manali, Sonal and Mr. Panda? Right. Oh, uh, uh, should I tell you what I feel like telling? No, no, no. You will ask the question to Priyanka Chavan, Priyanka Sharma, and Manali Gupta okay. uh, on what they have this uh, they, their viewpoints are. Any okay. questions you have? Yeah, one question could be: Do you think the product has become obsolete? in the market do you think this could be a reason what's your viewpoint on that yeah similar line like you know uh, because the training is training was in place so what about the uh, global economy thing actually sometimes a product got obsolete because of the advancement in technology or something like that where mm -hmm. nothing training can done and uh, you know the internal things can't do much there right so okay uh, Sorry. That's the question of company culture because a lot of companies don't really respect HR the way they should be. They don't give them a seat at the table when they make strategic decisions. Mm -hmm. And that's that's if if a company has such a culture, that is where such things would happen. But in a, in companies where HR is put at the seat where strategic decisions are made, uh, such things are usually not don't happen. So HR. Do you, th uh, do you think that? Uh... According to you, that HR is not part of the decision making. Do you feel that? Uh, in some companies, they are not given that importance. Yes, okay. but in some companies, they do, and it should be because HR do, is very important. Don't you think there's another very important point, you know, which needs to be discussed? HR and sales alignment of both. Do you think there is some gap between the two? Some miscommunication, some uh, yeah perception gap between the two, and that might have been one of yeah. the reasons also. Yeah, it could be. It could be because when the strategies are not aligned, when HR is not aware of the company strategies or they're not included in the decisions, uh, such things do tend to happen. Okay. Okay. Me, uh, Radhi, you have, okay. Sonal, you have something to ask? There's one question like, uh, I feel Maxine, like whatever you have given the inputs, I feel Maxine has not done a holistic training need analysis. Right. So if uh, it would also account for the organizational constraints whether uh, it can be whether they are touching the customers, maybe the TADA of the company are not good. So they are actually not meeting the customers on ground, whether there is soft skill gap and many more other things than just the product quality to be uh, pinned. That is one thing. So yeah. what's your take on this? Why uh, such accounts can't be taken for this uh, lack of uh, training effectiveness? Uh, what I feel that uh, 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 the training, uh, the sales team has given the only reason that product training has to be given, but Maxine has to take all things into consideration before just uh, uh, focusing or believing that what has been said and uh, making the strat uh, making the planning only considering the product knowledge. If she would have taken all the things into consideration, be it uh, the uh, be it that uh, employees are satisfied or not, are they properly motivated or not, or the other uh, various factors like marketing factors, advertising factors, and various other things which are happening means like uh, maybe sir has said related to the product obsolescence. So if she would have done her hard work proper uh, means homework properly, and she would have made uh, the uh, training uh, plan uh, considering all the things, then it would have been the she would have been able to deliver in a better way. And one Pra more Pradeep, you have to. Uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Pradeep, you have something to ask? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, for Sonal. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
I also want to understand like yeah. what was her training methodology because you know if it is a, a soft skill or how they are meeting the customers so was her uh, role play one of her methodology or it was lecture or demonstration that also makes a lot of difference right what she is sticking on to sure sure okay yeah another, Pradeep, yeah, another important factor you know which we hmm. need to be kept in mind is you know the public relations of the organization you see how the public relation has realigned with the sales team also is a very important thing you know uh, as uh, somebody has said you know advertisement good pr and feedback of the customer these are also very important inputs which needs to be diagnosed also that's a very important point i personally feel i don't know what you <laughs> can tell about that <laughs> okay right okay thank you guys thank you for uh, such a wonderful uh, discussion mm -hmm. uh let's move on to the next slide huh? yeah all right so uh maxin th this is basically a debriefing after uh, your discussion uh, you also when you use the uh, case study method uh, as a facilitator you need to do the debriefing at the end after the discussion has taken place all right so uh i can hear just a moment let me mute on all right so maxin could have done a lot more for for her organization by having a conversation with bernie up about his sales training request uh, like uh, some of you have point, pointed out sales this is a business problem it's not a hr problem or a training problem it's a business problem and pre business problem could have many uh, solutions training is only one of the solution it's not the solution and the the training manager is not a uh, order taker in a restaurant uh, that uh, somebody orders and you go ahead and uh, do the training program you also have a right to uh, decide and discuss as to whether training needs to happen or not so she could have asked some probing questions about what bernie thought might be causing the decrease in the sales rather than taking bunny by his word and uh, rushing to create a training program he could have asked and he could she could have actually done some research herself as to why certain uh, uh, why, why the sales are falling it could be because uh, yeah uh, like mr panda pointed out it could be because of uh, uh, product obsolescence it could be because some uh, other player has come to the market and they have a better product and less of price uh, 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 and uh, it could be anything actually or there could be a, a seasonal uh, reason for sales to decline like uh, in the last quarter of the year the sales increase and suddenly in the first uh, the uh, uh, sorry the third quarter uh, from october to De december the sales increase normally and uh, january to uh, march uh, is the time or from april to uh, june the sales uh, do decline uh, it, it's cyclical so so there could be a cyclical reason also so so she should have actually gone deeper into the uh, things all right so so and uh, yeah so uh, if maxin had gotten the information that uh, she could have made uh, prior to investing the time and resources for training programs and she might have found out that product knowledge was not the issue at all perhaps a competitor had recently entered the market introducing competition that did not previously exist in that case uh, training on how the competitor's product compared to the uh, so the product comparison could be you know, one of the methods uh, uh, which she, she could have adopted in the in the training program and uh, the program to have been considered successful she would have needed to be uh, able to make the case that training helps the representatives to better sell the product in the field so so there are there are four uh, stages to a training evaluation the first stage is 
uh, the the, uh, the reaction stage. Then you have the knowledge stage. Uh, third is the behavior stage, and the fourth is the result stage. You can't jump into the uh, to the to the fourth stage straight away. Uh, that the sales is not improving, it's declining, right? So so she could have uh, given uh, and the the the, uh, the result the training uh, will impact the result only at a at the very end, maybe towards the end of the year. And Maxine was given the pink slip, what, in six months time. So that, that's not uh, how it works. So, so the result, she, she could have done a better uh, job of showing the efficacy of the training program by uh, pointing out that uh, at the reaction level, it was uh, excellent. At the knowledge level, it was excellent. The behavior level, uh, she she could have actually shown it by uh, discussing with the uh, with the supervisors how they are uh, able to translate what they have learned to the uh, sales uh, training uh, the, to the sales situation when they are interacting with their uh, with, with their clients or uh, prospective clients. If all these things she could have shown, which means three out of four. She would have got uh, top marks uh, as far as training evaluation is concerned. And the results, if she had done the research well, she could have proven that uh, just the product knowledge or uh, the, uh, the skill set for uh, sales uh, is not enough to pull up the sales. Uh, it has some other uh, reason. So, so that she could have pointed out both to Bernie as well as to HR and the management. Right, so that would have saved her job. So, 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 uh, I would lay the uh, the blame on Maxine's door rather than uh, anything else. So, when you people uh, are going to be trainers yourselves, then you must uh, remember this: that uh, you have to do your homework before you uh, rush to create a uh, training program. Else, you will be blamed if if the uh, the training program doesn't work, then you will be blamed. So, so uh, do that. Okay. So, so uh, in the next uh, five to 10 minutes, let's uh, look at the uh, uh, next method, which is on the job training. So uh, what do we understand by on the job training? Anybody uh, has any experience of on the job training? Uh, yes. Sir. Okay. So uh, sometimes what happens that you have, uh, uh, you know, opted this because you find this more uh, practical approach to teach about certain things in companies. So I can take mm -hmm. my own example. So yeah. when I joined one of the firms, uh, they give me around like two and a half weeks to go through the uh, company's document, values, system, and all those things. Mm -hmm. But uh, whatever knowledge I could acquire, like if 10%, 20%, they start, you know, putting me in live projects. Mm -hmm. So when I asked, like, you know, why you are doing this, you know, my training is yet to complete. Uh, mm -hmm. And the logic was that, you know, it will bring a lot of good factor for you because, you know, though it will be small, but you will have a lot of client interaction. And that client interaction basically brings you a lot of motivation at your end to learn more about things which you're doing. So, like, this is what my understanding about on the job training. Uh, sir? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Bhumi here. I would like to yeah, add uh, what Pradeep said uh, that you know I have also been uh, through this and uh, there is not a full day kind of thing. It is like three to four hours uh, mm -hmm. apart from the training. Uh, like uh, like he said, the first two and a half to three weeks are just for the training. I mean, just the theoretical part, uh, understanding every single part, not just about the values of the company, but also about the product or services or whatsoever that, uh, you know. And then uh, uh, we are also uh, asked to go uh, for three to four hours on the, uh, the job, that is the field, okay. to get an idea. And based on that, uh, you know, the evaluation process, the feedback, and if uh, certain areas need to be, I mean, wherein we need to be uh, trained more, uh, we're evaluated. Okay, right. Thank you. Thank you for me. All right. So, so uh, in the on-the-job training, what what actually happens? The focus is on individualized training. Like it's it's one-on-one. -on -one. You you have uh, uh, the the training, 
and uh, somebody who is uh, more experienced. And it happens not in a classroom. It it happens on the job, right, right, right where uh, the the activity happens, whether it's on the soft floor or in the office uh, or uh, if there is a project going on uh, at that project. So the focus is on individualized training. Uh, there is unpredictability of results because uh, you, you cannot uh, pinpoint beforehand what would be the takeaway uh, from, uh, from such an on-the-job training. I mean, for, for some people, it will be very, very beneficial. And some other people, like, like there, are, uh, uh, there, are, there are trainees who just while away uh, their, their time uh, on the job. And uh, they, they, they don't get much out of uh, on the job because see, it's, it's not a, a teacher student kind of relationship because the person who would actually be training you or uh, answering your queries, uh, uh, he has to do his own job, right? He has uh, some performance targets to meet. So he or she will not be able to give uh, say, uh, total and full uh, undivided attention to you. So uh, as a trainee, uh, it's, 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 uh, the, the learning is actually trainee centric rather than uh, being uh, facilitator centric. So you take what you, you want to take, the option is yours. If you don't want to take anything, uh, you, you, you are free not to take anything from now on the job training. So, so there is unpredictability of results. Then uh, active monitoring and supervision. Uh, so this is something which which actually lacks. Uh, unlike in a uh, say classroom where uh, the facilitator is with you face to face and uh, he or she is committed to you during the the, the entire session. Whereas uh, in on the job training, uh, the uh, active monitoring and supervision may not be possible. Absence of interaction since it is an individualized training. There is no interaction between uh, between other trainees, right? So, so, so that interaction lacks, and uh, to get rid of this or to get over this uh, drawback, what many organizations do is just give me a minute. Yeah. So, so to to overcome this, what uh, some organizations do is they do uh, something which is called a body system. Where, where they pair up uh, trainees and who actually are encouraged to compare notes, to uh, share the learning journey and uh, try and find out who is doing what and what the progress, uh, their progress has been, what are the milestones they have achieved. So, so, uh, so that way they, they, uh, they overcome this particular drawback. There's greater uh, emphasis on practice and doing. And unless you actually uh, get your hand muddied and get into the water, uh, you won't be able to learn much. So, so if, if you are on the shop floor and uh, your, your, uh, your facilitator uh, or a mentor is a technician and he actually works with his own hands. And if you uh, are, uh, uh, shy of actually getting your hand dirty uh, literally uh, and you want to just observe then it won't work so so you have to uh, learn by practice learn by doing uh, there is uh, uh, on the job training actually uh, the, the best known uh, uh, positive about on the job training is the easy transfer of training because if you are in the class uh, or any other method of training, uh, that uh, training has to be transferred to the uh, work situation. But on the job training is right there at the work situation. So, so uh, the, there is very, very easy transfer of training uh, to, to your uh, actual work situation. And uh, it is less cost effective because uh, instead of say taking on a class of say 20 or 30 at the same time, you have to, uh, there's only one on one. So, so uh, if there's a class of 30, then you have to find 30 uh, 
mentors or 30 trainers or 30 facilitators which is and uh, they have to do their own day job and they, they have their performance targets so so uh, so it's a costly uh, way of uh, training people but but it's effective in the sense the uh, transfer of training is very uh, easy all right uh, any sorry, questions yeah. sorry go ahead. Uh, go ahead, actually uh, i would like to ask you one thing you said there is the absence of interaction yeah but but don't you think there is a hundred percent interaction between the trainee and the training who's doing the job because one person is training the other so obviously there is a good of amount of interaction between the two right the inter interaction which i was talking about was interaction trainees like if there is a class of 30 Huh. There's a class of 30 and uh, each of the trainee has been given a different assignment mm -hmm. uh, attached to different people. Mm -hmm. In between the trainees, between mm -hmm. these 30 people, there is hardly any interaction. Whereas in a classroom or a situation like this, there are there is interaction amongst the trainees themselves. Actually, you are talking uh, between the trainees. Actually, you are right, talking right. Between among the trainees. The trainees. I, I was uh, thinking of trainee and trainee. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I have one question. Uh, just. Yeah. yeah. So, can we consider handovers uh, as an example of uh, on the job training? Because whenever somebody put down his papers and, uh, you know, there's a person who has been assigned uh, to him so that he can take handover for next one and a half or two months, whatever the notice period is. And during that period, he transfers that knowledge or, you know, those skill sets. So, can yeah. we consider that? as an on the job training part certainly, certainly. only only if the handover is over a period of time if the handover happens in a day uh, which normally is the case one or two days uh, then only the uh, work pending work and uh, is is handed over but if if what you are saying is uh, which is called actually shadowing uh, in in uh, corporate parlance is called uh, Shadow. It is also the uh, transition as well, right? Transition yeah. of, of the, for example, if an employee is leaving yeah. and another employee is taking the, his or her place, then yeah. uh, for a, over a period of two or three months, yeah. the whole transition process goes on. Can it be also termed? I, I yeah, think. yeah, yeah, certainly. Yeah. So transition, shadowing, they are on the job training. But if it is just handover in a day or two, that may not. Uh, Qualify to be on the job training. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Uh, okay. Sir? Yeah. Uh, are we done with all the questions? Uh, all the questions. No, no. no. I mean, why I'm asking is, uh, uh, Arunji said that uh, I can share the screen after the session. I mean, that is over, and he's. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Please, please go ahead and uh, share your screen. I will stop sharing mine. Uh, so that you will be able to share your screen. Why? Sir, uh, I have just uh, one last question. Yeah. Uh, not exactly question. Yesterday, I have attended uh, that uh, webinar, that was fantastic webinar uh, mm -hmm. of uh, Siddhaki, sir. By Mr. Siddhaki, yeah. Uh, yes, sir. So, he is called Zen Philosophy. Uh, he is what? Philosophy? Philosophy. Uh, Japanese philosophy. Japanese philosophy on leadership. leadership. Yes, yes. Uh, so, any specific book are there, sir, or where uh, we can read about it? Oh, Japanese uh, leadership. I'm not. I'm not very sure. Uh, maybe I'll do a little research and tell you it, uh, uh, in the next class. So, uh, no. Not, not uh, off the cuff. I won't be able to tell you. There, there is a there is Thank a book sir. by Kiyosaki. Uh, so uh, he has written a book on, uh, but it's not Japanese philosophy. It's it's uh, uh, it's about uh, rich dad poor dad that I have read, uh, but that that's not Japanese philosophy. That's mm -hmm. uh, more Western than. How, how how you read, sir? That mean. I'm sorry. The theory of philosophy of Japanese literature. How you rate about uh, this job philosophy of literature? See, they are Oriental, and uh, India is also an uh, Oriental country, and uh, both the countries are very much influenced by Buddhism, and uh, so.
so so uh, and buddhism actually took uh, uh, from from uh, hinduism and uh, other religions so so i believe we are similar to that extent so so uh, we are more akin to uh, japanese culture and japanese way of uh, being than the western culture so uh, i think we can uh, learn a lot from them uh, rather than the west so so yeah. there is a book you, uh, called ikigai ha uh, ikigai 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 uh, <laughs> Also yeah, that's that's a good book. Yeah, that, that that that's yeah. You you can learn from there. But that ikigai yes. is only one aspect of uh, Japanese uh, management. Uh, so if you want to have a generic uh, uh, knowledge of Japanese uh, philosophy and all, uh, I, let me find out uh, what yeah, book you. Can. I can I can provide one insight. It yeah. Is. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm from Ahmedabad, and if anybody yeah. happens to ever visit Ahmedabad, uh, there is one organization known as Ahmedabad Management Organization. Uh, yeah. I don't know if uh, they do have an online library or something, but in that case, uh, I mean they uh, have collaborated with the uh, Japanese government mm. and have a whole section on the uh, Japanese culture, uh, the learnings and uh, the principles, values, and all those things. Oh, great! So they do also have have a library. Which is based. I mean, the books and everything have been uh, provided by uh, Japanese government. Right, right. Thank you, Bhumi. Thank you so much. Yeah. Mm, thank, thank you. you. Thanks. All right. So, so are you able to show your screen, or uh, you uh, want to? Yes. Uh, shall I? I mean, yeah. I please go ahead. Please go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. All right. 